Hey y'all. What is up, girl? What is up? I am back vlogging. Oh, it's so hot. I just got my toes done. Oh my gosh, I'm on E. I do not feel like going to get gas. I just got my toes done. And they look so pretty. I went back with my girl. I haven't been to her in a few months. That's my favorite. Like, I love my nail tech, but I love my pedicure girl who do my pedicures. Two different people. So, um, I did my hair today, you guys, and it's pretty cute. It's effortless and cute. I just, it's so hot out the door, y'all. Uh, I'm about to go to the mall. I have to take something back to, where did I get this from? I think I got this from sex. But I have to take this perfume back. It's called Norman by Chloe. I have to take it back because my mom got me the same perfume. I bought this for myself for Mother's Day. And my mom got the same perfume. So I'm gonna take it back. I'm also gonna go by Jimmy Choo and Terry Birch. I want to get, y'all, uh, I'm all over the place, but I ordered me a bag. Oh my gosh, I ordered me a bag from YSL. Well, I ordered from uh, Neiman, but was it Neiman or Harold? One of them, Harold. I think it was Harold. But anywho, I ordered me a YSL bag, y'all. All my outfits that I'm picking up and ordering and stuff, it has to match that bag. Cause when I tell you I'm gonna wear that bag to the death of me, like to the death of me, okay? I'm gonna wear that bag the freak out um, because you know why is that is expensive and i'm really really just getting into like buying myself designer pieces i do have a couple of pieces but normally they're gifts and stuff like that but i actually bought my own because i wanted a new bag and it was my mother's day gift well technically i didn't buy it joe bought it because he gave me the money for mother's day and i ordered it so, see, I never really buy myself something, nothing, but I'm going to start buying my stuff. I mean, I'm going to start buying myself stuff without waiting on them to be gifts. But, anywho, um, I got the Lulu bag, and I got it in small. I was going to get it in the toy size, but that was going to be too small. So, I ended up getting it in the small size. I didn't get it in the medium size because I didn't want it to be too big. Although, I love a big bag, but I just, I don't know. I just didn't want it to be that big. I wanted it to be more like I can wear with a cute little dress. I can wear it with some jeans. But yeah, I had a great Mother's Day. I got roses. I got my YSL bag, although I don't have it yet. Um, But my friend told me that the shipping is pretty good. I think I got it off the... One of those websites. I think I got it off a of Herald. Yeah, I think so. Um, but anywho, yeah, I'm going by the mall because I have to return. Oh, I'm about to fucking go the wrong way. And then I guess after I leave the mall, I'll go get gas because I don't feel like going to get gas right now. So, yeah, I'm going to charge my phone for a little bit. I'm not buying, and I gotta show y'all, I also got some new perfumes. Um, I just showed y'all, I mean, I just told y'all about the Chloe perfume I got, it smells so good. Um, I also got a uh, um, Gucci Bamboo. What else did I get? I got one more perfume, Gucci Bamboo. Oh, um, Peck, Ale Alexandria, Alexandria Queen, McQueen. I know I'm saying that right wrong. Alexandria, Alexandria McQueen. I think that's how you say it. But I got, I got that perfume. It smells so good, so so good. I don't hear a lot of people talking about that, um, that perfume. But baby, when I tell you, it smells so good, so good. Hey y'all. <laughs> so I was supposed to be vlogging, but I was on my friend May's live laughing at her. Um, she was talking about the Portia um, situation and you know how some women feel like she's not wrong. Girl, listen, y'all don't see me post my man a lot. People be telling me, oh, you should do YouTube videos, couples, nothing. 
post your back. I don't post my son that much, and I don't post my man that much. I do not trust people. Okay, I do not trust people. Period. Hoes be sneaky. They be so sneaky. I barely have anybody at my house. I don't have company at my house like that because I just, you know, I don't trust people like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm mm. I do not trust people. I. <laughs> And I hate to sound like that, but if you're not like a family member or like one of my closest friends, you're not coming to my house. You're not being of them under my man. My man is not your friend. He's not your homeboy. He's not your bro. He's not your brother. He's not your none of that. And it was just a good conversation and also y'all remember about two weeks ago steve harvey was saying like he don't believe in having like home girls like friends as like female friends i agree with him like when you're married i don't feel like i don't know about y'all but my husband don't have a home girl a best friend home girl i just don't agree with that i don't have a best friend homeboy period it's none of that. Those was the rules when dating me. Any type of female that was in your life, besides your mom, your sisters, and stuff like that, is no longer in your life. I don't care if you've been knowing her for 20 years, poo. It doesn't matter. I don't trust it. Those are my rules. Those are me and my husband both agreed. Because I had a whole bunch of boy homeboys. Who is it? to have a whole bunch of boy homeboys but when I got married it's no it's no boy homeboys you know what I'm saying so I definitely agree with Steve Harvey some people was like well what if you knew that person all your life I don't care it doesn't matter and I was just on my friend um live it was so juicy <laughs> she's still on live but I wanted to come and check in you guys I am having this wine this is what we're drinking on tonight it is called be well rose and the reason i got it because it was super cute i got it from Adi's, and it's kind of strong how much percent let's see how much alcohol percent is in here 12 and a half percent so this gonna get me a little tipsy mm -mm. no ma'am let me know what y'all feel about that leave it in the comment section let's open up a discussion about do you agree with your man having like a homegirl and when i say homegirl this is somebody who considered like herself best friend this is my bestie um i'm invited to his wedding um you know she called and asked how you doing and how's life and how's the marriage and how's the kids and you know If y'all that close and y'all got such a tight bond like that, why the fuck y'all ain't just be together? If you feel like he's the perfect guy and you know what I'm saying, and he just the perfect guy and you just wish your guy was like him, why didn't y'all just be together? I feel like majority, all of my homeboys that I had liked me. And I'm not trying to say that I'm the shit, but it's just the female energy and it's just the male energy. I feel like vice versa. Don't you feel like the girls who considered that you was homeboy like like you? Yeah, but I knew it. Just like y'all know it. <laughs> y'all y'all still be friends them just like we do. Because we know how to play the game. Like, okay, yeah, if, it's if, it's if a, a game. Exactly, but if a dude like me, that don't mean like I have to like come back. No, I still put him in the friend zone. But you know he likes you. So okay, you but you still can put him in a friend zone. But you know he likes you. Yeah, but you can still put him in a friend zone. He still likes you, though. You know that. But what the point I'm trying to make is that when I'm married, when you're married, I just don't feel like my man, my relationship is going to have a home girl or a home, or I'm going to have a homeboy. It's just like, it's no longer needed. So, 
Once I put the baby to sleep, just to go to sleep, and I burn my hookah, I'll be back to talk to y'all a little more. Because it's a little, we're going to go down. I just came off the live, y'all. I've been on live for about two hours. Oh my gosh, my lace is like lifting up. Y'all are so freaking fun. I met my girl Janae. I met my other girl. I don't know her real name, but my sister's from Chicago. I met, I love y'all so much. You guys make me feel so comfortable. You guys are family to me. We on hookah, girl. We on wine. Girl, we just floating, baby. We are floating, baby. <laughs> I am in my zone. I'm about to listen to me some poetry. I'm about to vibe out. Listen, look at me a romantic movie or something like Love Jones so I can cry and do all that type of stuff. But if you did check, um, if you did check out my live, I really appreciate y'all. Y'all are so sweet. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. <laughs> Damn, I'm as under the influence of everything. <sighs> My hookah is gone. I'm about to go put on me some more clothes, baby. Joe? I think he's asleep. But yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all in the morning because I've been on live for two hours and I just feel like I am just, I just wanna relax now. If you caught that live, that live was lit. Devil is busy. Oh my gosh. So I'm in the middle of trying to do a try on haul and my fucking tripod just broke and I'm mad as fuck because how are you guys gonna see my outfit? <sighs> I'm so mad like it was going so well you guys and I am tired <sighs> let me show you my outfit I'm in the middle of recording a try on haul from pretty little thing and girl my whole little tripod thing just broke I am so mad because I was on the road like this is my second look oh my gosh this is my second look, y'all. And I never do my try on hauls in my big mirror. I just don't. But, yeah. Should I just do it? Just Should I just finish it in this big mirror? But it's not going to be the quality that I want. You know, I'm pretty picky when it comes to, like, y'all, I like what I like. I don't like when stuff look weird. But, anywho... This is a dress from Pretty Little Thing. Let me step back so you guys can see the shoes. I am rocking my Tom Ford Locket heels. They were really hard to put on. <sighs> okay, you guys. So, I was about to go live with Pangina, the brand Pangina that I've been really advertising for lately. I love, love this brand. I never worked with a brand consistency consistent like this. Like, I really love the brand. I really love... Um, the Yanni wash is one of my favorite wash. It's like empty, y'all. Like, I use this stuff really faithfully. And you don't need a lot. It's very natural for your body. So, anywho, I was going to go live with the owner tonight. But um, I think she's having, like, flight problems or something like that. So, we're going to reschedule it for probably uh, Wind Down Wednesdays. On Wednesday, I'm trying to, like, go live with you guys and just talk about, like, girl talk and just good vibes, good energy, you know, smoke our hookah, drink our wine, and I think she's gonna go ahead and pop in so she can kind of explain to you guys a little bit more on these products, you guys. I really recommend this if you want a squeaky, squeaky, squeaky clean Yanni, okay? I really like this stuff. It's very natural. I'll leave the link to everything down below. I, I also been loving the Goddess Butter. They did send me a mouthwash. Now, I haven't opened the mouthwash yet. I am going to open it, but I haven't opened it yet. But the, um, the butter... It's so good, y'all. I've been using this like crazy. Um, I used to only use it. Oh my gosh, I got hair. I used to only use it at night, but I've been using it in the morning, like on my scars and stuff, on my like cuts and stuff from my breast reduction. And I just really love the way it makes my skin feel. It's it makes me feel very, very smooth and buttery. Um, do your research on it. You don't have to go off of my word. I'll leave my link down below so you guys can save money. But 
these two products are my absolutely favorite. Oh my God. So, I'm gonna go ahead and have my wine and just relax for the rest of the night. I'm gonna edit and work on some new videos and edit some videos and work on some content for you guys. Um, try to just come up with some creative ideas to add to my YouTube. I'm also gonna charge my camera that I finally found. I bought a new lens for my Sony camera, my Sony 5100. You guys know that was a really popular camera back in the day, so but probably about two or three years ago, and I lost it, and I finally found it and bought a new lens and some batteries for it. So if I like the quality of it, I can start recording off of that camera because that camera was really, really good, um, but I just, I lost it, girl. So I finally found it. So I'm gonna like probably vlog tomorrow more with it. And I also wanted to show you guys, I have some new shapewear. Now this shapewear is lit, y'all. You know, I gotta come and support my girls, my black owned businesses. If you guys have a business and you want me to promote it for you, you want to work together, you want to clap together. Now one thing about me, I have to like the product. If I don't like the product, it's probably not gonna come to my channel. No offense, but I have to. I feel like the product has to be like, something that I'm in love with for me to share but if you have a business and you want to bring some exposure exposure to your business um I'll link my email down below hit me up we can talk we can work we can clap I'm gonna go get a P.O. box tomorrow that's the goal is to go get a P.O. box so you guys can start sending me stuff and just gifts and I'll love to see like you know the business that you guys have created and you know i love to see it baby i love to see it we are all growing we are all on this journey together so um yeah i'm on this journey of being a full-time youtuber like what oh my gosh like i'm having zoom calls and meetings and all of this this is just so different and i love it because i manifest this life and I'm trying to stay consistent. Um, I was a little off balance last week. I just had to get like my mental in order. But this week I'm on the road. I got up this morning. I recorded two videos. So, you know, I'm on the road. I'm vlogging. Um, so, I'm going to work on these vlogs and create some content. Here's my little tablet that I normally use. Oh my gosh. This is my little book that I normally use to create content. So, yeah. I feel like I'm ready. I'm ready for this YouTube journey. I'm going to also have this tablet here with videos that I actually have to check out. I mean, check off because I already did them. So, I'm going to do some little work since I'm not going live. I thought I was going to go live for about 45 minutes just chilling with you guys talking to you guys and also talking to the brand of a little better but we're not going live tonight we're gonna try that again later on this week so yeah i'm gonna go edit and relax for the rest of the night hey y'all what is up so today is the next day i am about to go get my nails done i am trying out this new nail tech it's so hot out here y'all jesus I am trying out this new nail tech today. I never been to him, but I saw his work on Instagram and I also seen that um, a friend of mine's went. So, and I really like his work. I love my nail tech, but she wasn't available today. And, you know, I needed to get in, baby. I need to get my nails done. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go back to her. But since she's not available i'm just gonna try somebody different and see if i like they work as well because all i had was coffee all i had was coffee so um i'm a little shaky so i need something to eat because i know my body but yeah i'm gonna go get his my nails done i'm trying to take these off because I want him just to have a clean slay. I just really want to see his shape of his like nails. I'm really big on shape. And um, I like these shapes. This was a cute shape, but I just want to try somebody different. Um, and he's raw, like he's fire. His work is like, ugh. And then he had these really cute nails on his Instagram that I really like. 
they're like swiggly out inside the picture right here i really like these nails but i want to do them in neutral colors like browns and whites and you know creams and stuff like that because i really like i would like that design but i want brown undertones and brown swiggly lines and stuff like that so i don't know i don't know i just want to try something different I want to try like a color nail, but I know I'm just not a color girl when it comes to my nails, my makeup. So I don't really want to step that far out the box. But, um, y'all, I feel really lightheaded right now. Like, oh my gosh. I don't feel good. I need to eat. And you know how you feel like your blood pressure is low or something is low because I haven't ate. All I did was drink coffee. So my body is just like, help me, help me. <laughs> so once I feel a little better, you guys, and eat my food, I'm at Starbucks. I'm about to get a grilled cheese. And I'm not going to get another coffee. I'm going to get a refresher. They need to hurry up because I literally got 15 minutes to make it. And I do not like to be late. I don't even know this man. I don't feel good. Girl, I asked the people. I'm hungry as fuck about to pass out. I asked the lady make sure the grilled cheese is extra hot you know i want it double toasted but not burnt girl look at the grilled cheese mommy don't burnt the damn grilled cheese ma'am how i'm gonna eat this and i'm late so i can't even go in and get my money or change it out man and i gotta eat it because i feel like i'm lightheaded and sh oh my god Girl, I'm about to throw this shit out the window. Like, why would you, why would you burn it? Why would I want this thing burnt? Damn. Like, why would I want it like this? Ma'am, I should call corporate. I should call corporate. I can't even eat it. My teeth ain't even strong enough. Man. She got me fucked up. The shit tastes like a damn... Like what? Man, this shit is disgusting. It tastes like dog food. Use your thinking cap. Use your thinking cap, ma'am. God damn. This hungry is out here. She want to play with me. But y'all eating almost 24 hours. I'm hungry. I'm frustrated. I can't see. I'm hot. Ma'am. Damn, I wish I can go back. I didn't get my nails done as you guys can see but your girl got a new camera my friend blame my friend may she was talking so good about this camera this is what all the girls on instagram been using for their pictures and you know this is supposed to be a really lit camera this is the canon eos m50 camera i went to best buy and i got it and i also got a huge tripod so I could take my own pictures and it tipped. This is like a really sturdy tripod. Um, this camera was like $700 because I did get insurance on it. I think it's original, originally $649 but I got the insurance on it which was $70. So my total for the tripod oh I think I got the wrong receipt. 
the tripod oh the tripod the insurance and the camera it came up to seven ninety four so I'm gonna let y'all know how I like this camera, the quality of it. I'm gonna record right now with this. So I'm gonna charge this and we are gonna see if we can see the difference. That'll be fun, that'll be interesting because I love when people see that. I mean, do that in a video. So you see the quality right now. So let me charge the camera up and we are gonna see if it's a big difference, okay? Set the brightness down. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get used to this so much because I'm so used to looking at my camera right here and I keep looking at the viewfinder right here. So I have to get used to looking right here. But this is it. Okay. Okay guys, so today is the next day it's actually nighttime and I wanted to come and show you guys some stuff that I got from TJ Maxx but I also wanted to show you guys some shapewear that I've been loving oh my gosh you guys it's this company I think her name let me make sure I say her name I think it's contour hold on I gotta look at my phone y'all because I be messing up people's name and I don't want to mess up her company name it's called plush contour beauty plush contour beauty and she sent over me two shapewear so I'm gonna go try the shapewear on you guys I already tried it on I already been wearing them but I want you guys to see how this shapewear shaped my body matter of fact I'm gonna try on a dress as well so you guys can see how you can wear this shapewear with the dress so I'm about to go try it on for you guys really quick before it gets too late hopefully this video is not too dark you guys know i am using my camera now and i am really trying to figure it out i'm not gonna give up i'm gonna just <laughs> figure it out it's just it's different so i have to get used to it but i feel like i'm focused i feel like you know so let me go get my shapewear try it on i'm gonna try on like any type of dress like a dress that I feel like goes with the shapewear and I did want to let you guys know that I did get my YSL Lulu bag it is so cute I'm gonna post pictures tomorrow and stuff I'm thinking about doing a luxury um, haul because I have been getting like a little bit of pieces I don't have that many but I have been like building my collection lately within like the last three months so I kind of want to show you guys some of the pieces that I picked up but yeah i did get my bag i'm super excited it's beautiful maybe i'll show you guys in the hall um hold on let me go get it here is my girl here is my baby welcome to my world oh my gosh i absolutely love her why do i seem so dark but i love love this bag y'all it's so classy the straps are so heavy and nice um, she is a beauty and I'm so glad that I was able to get her for Mother's Day. So this is my Mother's Day gift. Um, I did style an outfit tonight wearing this. Me and Joe did go out for a few drinks. So I didn't vlog that. Sorry guys. But we was just vibing. So um, yeah I'm about to show you guys the shapewear now let's show the shapewear and how do you guys like my hair i kind of try to do something different tonight try to make it look like a like a wet type of look i got this got inspired by um what's the girl name who be with jada them jada and des i think her name lele she had her hair like this i love her she's so cute so i did get inspired i have to do a review on this hair it's so pretty it's just regular body wave and i just wet it so let me go get my shapewear okay you guys so here is the shapewear the seamless shapewear with um the seamless shapewear you guys with the dress on i really like this shapewear the reason i like this shapewear because it's so smooth in the front now with this particular shapewear you guys know i am obsessed with shapewear i have about 40 but with this particular shapewear 
Um, I will go down a size to a medium just to snatch me a little more so I can be a little bit more snatch on the side. But I really like this shade wear. It is beautiful. Um, it's just perfect for like an everyday type of shade wear. Like I'll wear this outfit to go get some crafts with my friends. We love crafts. So I'll wear this to go get some crab lids, to go have a few, you know, drinks during brunch time. It's just an everyday type of dress. It is seamless. It is seamless. So you don't have to worry about any type of lines or zippers. It is really This is how the shape wear look on the side, you guys. So it does flatten me out and you guys know I it takes a lot of compression to flatten my stomach in the front. I don't know. I just girl. Nine pound, three ounce baby. Who C-section baby. This little pug just never went away. And of course, I, I eat like crazy. Well, not anymore. But I always had a pudge. So, it takes compression to make my stomach really flat. But, um, if I was to order this, I would order it in a medium. I ordered it in a large. If you are my size and you're looking for a comfortable shapewear, um, I definitely recommend that you order a large. But if you want to look snatch, 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 like when you go out, because every day you don't want to look like you're really, really snatch, or do you? <laughs> Some girls like yes. But um, this, like I said, this is an everyday type of shape where I'll take my son with, to the fair. I don't know about you guys, but I love shapewear. I love to wear shapewear um, almost every day. I'm a shapewear type of girl. I just feel so comfortable and confident with shapewear. Look in the back. It really shapes my body. It pushes my butt up, and I like that. That's what I feel like I need. And like I said, with this shapewear, I would wear every single day. Every single day. This is like a like a daytime shapewear, honey. Every single day shapewear. So, you guys see how this one fit. So, let's go try on another one. Um, she did send me two, so I'm gonna try. Okay, you guys, now this shapewear here, see this snatches me more. See, the other one, perfect for an everyday type of shapewear. But this one here is more like my type of shapewear. It definitely hits me in the right spot, right here. This is where you want to get hit at. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds crazy. But this is what you, where you want your shapewear. Well, this is where I like my shapewear to hit me at. It's right on the side. But this one does have a zipper. It is a full bra shape where the, the butt is out. Well, it's like a, a really nice material in the back for the butt. So, we're gonna try on this dress because this has a zipper, so I'm, I'm sure the zipper will show. So this will be my shape wear when I'm wearing some type of print to kind of disguise it a little bit. You guys have to have different type of shape wears for different type of outfits. Period. You just have to. This shape wear I have on, I definitely could have took it in a medium um, because it has compression. But I'm the type of girl like, baby, I need a little bit more compression. But it is in a large and it fits perfect. But like I said, if I wanted the front, because I need a lot of pressure in the front. It's not the back. I don't have any rolls like that. I don't have any back fat like that. Um, but it's just this area when it comes to my my shape I need compression in the front at the bottom right here <laughs> I know I see it <laughs> but I love 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 to shape wear it this one is my favorite because it does push my waist in a little bit more and I really like that so here's the back so I really like the way the back look it really like shows a nice shape when it comes to the back. There's the side. There's the side. So if it was a little tighter, if it was a little tighter, like a size medium, I think the front would be more like that. Like that. But it still is nice. It's still nice. It really 
got the booty looking good, girl. And I just love that it's a bra, so I got support up here. Y'all, I'm just showing y'all all my secrets, honey. Y'all make sure y'all check her out. She is a black-owned business, and we have to support. But you guys know, if you like me, I love shapewear, baby. When it comes to shapewear, whenever I see a person recommend shapewear, listen, honey, <laughs> I'll be on it. Like, I need my shapewear. I'm the type of girl that wears shapewear all the time. All the time. It doesn't matter. So this will be more of my going out shape wear when I wear printed dresses because like, oh, it just hits right there. It's just perfect. I love it. Perfect. I love it. So you guys make sure you check her out. I'll leave her link down below for you guys. If I do have a coupon code, I'll try to get it for you guys. But yes, I'll leave both shape wear. And I'll just leave her whole website down below. So, yeah, guys. I am about to take all of this off. But I cannot wait to wear this dress. I got an idea. Like, I love this dress. I actually like this dress with this hair. So, maybe I'll take a picture with this hair, with this dress. Because it is cute. It is giving. It is giving. Girl. Oh, body, body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Let me see if my butt move. <laughs> One thing about shapewear, baby, that booty is not gonna be moving like that, so don't be trying to move your booty when you're in the club and stuff, because they just look cute, because the booty is secure. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, you guys, so, okay, I showed you guys the shapewear. I have a few more things to show you guys. I did go to TJ Maxx in Ulta. I did get some new perfume, so I wanted to come and show you guys the new perfumes that I picked up from Ulta. So, I picked up the KK Fragrance, and this is in the Body 2. Um, I like this. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but you guys know me. I just do my thing. If I like it, I'm going to get it. So here is the bottle. This is what really sold me. So freaking cute, right? Hopefully, it's probably not going to focus. I don't know. I'm trying to learn this camera. But yeah, it's kind of focusing on me. But this is the bottle. It's like a white little body sculpture. Yes, I need my body like this, period. But this smells so good to me y'all why y'all didn't tell me to pick this up and it was only sixty dollars i like it i gotta see like how it wear down because i really couldn't see oh my earring came out sorry but yeah this is the kk beauty y'all know i love tim anywho i love her so i know a lot of people don't like him but i love him and i also got the um ariana grande cloud perfume everybody said that this was a dupe for a baccarat i did smell it in the store and it do smell like it um so i was like you know what let me get it let me get it the i just think the packaging is a little goofy like it's a little childish maybe she should change it because you know this is a little it looked like for children but here's the bottle here this bottle was about $40, $46. But, um, oh yes, I'm glad this come off because this will not be on my perfume stand. Don't like it. But here's the bottle. And I thought this was like $17, $18. When I seen people on YouTube talk about this perfume, they was like, yeah, it's super cheap. I'm like, well, I spent about six, probably like $40, $50 on this. I don't even know. But I think it was like... I'll tell you guys how much was it? Um, where is it? It was forty-four dollars. <coughs> this was forty-four dollars for this little bottle. I mean, if it smells good, that's all that matters. But it do smell like baccarat. It do. It do. I can't even lie. They use the same exact notes. It do. It's so many dupes for that perfume now, but this one definitely, this one smells like it a lot. A lot, a lot. Dang. 
they do that to the tea. What else did I get? I just got some setting powder for my clients. Let me show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. I am extremely tired, oh my gosh. So this is gonna be quick. So I got some makeup remover wipes. I'm gonna use this tonight. I also got some more shapewear. I told you guys I love shapewear, I'm addicted. And this is the Skinny Girl Shapewear. Um, it was only $12.99, came with like two packs. So I got that, I always pick them up. I told you, I am addicted to shapewear. I also got some boob tape from TJ Maxx. It was only $5.99, so I picked that up. Some more makeup wipes. These were $3.99, so yeah. Hopefully I'm not too fresh. And I got this bag, so I'm going, gonna, I'm gonna be traveling probably back to back this summer. I know I'm going to um, to Loom, and I also know I'm going to another island. I just don't know where we're kind of debating, but I know for a fact I'm going on two to three trips this summertime. So I picked up this bag here. I thought this bag was really, really cute, y'all. I don't know. I just like the the wooden handle. I feel like it's just so sturdy and it's nice. And I like the um the long strap. I'm really tired. I'm sleeping. I like the long strap that they have on it as well. It's just really cute. I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. And this was really affordable. It was only $15 and look, it looks so like high end. It's nice. It's by this brand right here. So, yeah. This is really nice and it's made so well. Like, and it can fold really good to go in my suitcase. Like, I pay attention to all of that. Like, can it fold really good and go in my suitcase, girl? And it could, and it can. So, I think that's all I got. And I just got some lashes from the beauty supply store. Cause you guys know I love me some lashes. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and close off this vlog you guys. Cause I don't want this vlog to be all over the place. Cause I feel like it's been all over the place. But love you guys so much. I'm going to be vlogging tomorrow. So I'm trying to end this vlog so I can start a new vlog. I will be doing a luxury haul. I don't have a lot of pieces. I do. My collection is growing. This is all new to me. I'm only getting things that I really, 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 really am in love with. I'm not getting anything trendy. I'm getting classic pieces. I really love vintage classic pieces. Even if it's not vintage like, but just very timeless type of pieces, that's me. Um, but I think I'm done shopping like for a minute because I have a procedure that's coming up and I need to make sure that I book my flight for that because that's coming up in a week or so, two, couple of weeks. I'll tell you guys more about that soon. Don't worry, I got y'all. So, um, love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure you like, like, comment, and subscribe and check out her shapewear and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.